The lesson in this story is simple. It is that your ability to embrace humor and cope with stress can be improved if you make an honest assessment of your own personal needs and the things that make you happy. What are your hobbies? Do you enjoy playing sports, cooking, reading, watching movies, working for a charity, or simply spending time with friends and family? Whatever it is that makes you feel good and helps recharge your batteries should be given a priority in your daily routine. Sometimes circumstances change, and there's no longer what seems to be a convenient time to fit those activities into the day. This is when you need to take a step back and reorganize your schedule. It's true that most people feel so many demands on their time that ultimately what they want to do is sacrificed for what they must do. In the long term, this is not healthy as it ignores the role of that humor plays in your lives. If something that provides personal happiness and pleasure is made a priority, there is always a way to find time for it. It's essential for you to identify a couple of personal priorities for yourself and then schedule them into your routine. When self-priorities are set as appointments in your calendar, they are less likely to be ignored or delayed for when you have time. You may need to adjust other activities in your schedule to accommodate your personal priorities, but in the long run, you will be a happier, healthier person who functions better at work as well as at home. The basis of humor is treating yourself as a human who requires understanding and nurturing.